hey, I thought I'd let you see the barn when you could, you know, see it and it wasn't dark and stuff. Okay. I'm going to tell a couple stories here just to kind of document it, you know, just in, in case I die or something, you know, and then, you know, the legend would stop with me. Yeah. That'd be awful. Okay. Our story begins one night. I can't remember when it was. Me and Paul were sitting in that general area over there with a little campfire going. We heard some weird noises, so we walked over here where the noises were coming from, down to the barn. So we walked all the way down here. You know, and these weren't, you know, noises like what you usually hear in the woods, you know. It didn't, it just didn't sound right. It sounded almost like a baby crying. So, we kind of walked down here in this fashion. <laughs> and the noises were coming from way back in there, like a couple, like maybe a couple hundred feet, something like that. Like a hundred yards, I don't know. So we were walking out here, and and this was all happening in pretty much pitch black. I mean, you could see a little bit because of the moon, but it was basically really dark. We got to about right here. Paul started making weird noises back at it, and then you know you could hear it rustling around, you know, and you could tell that it was good size, whatever it was. And it was making these really odd, almost like, screaming noises. It was weird. And so we were, you know, laughing, listening to the noises coming from somewhere over there, way back in the woods where we couldn't see. And out of nowhere, a rock comes from right back over there and lands right there. Yeah, that freaked us out. So we then turned around and started heading back this way. And we headed back up to the to the house. You know, laughing and stuff, but you know, it kind of it, it, it was really freaky. Alrighty. Now. Story number 2. This happened a few summers ago. I was sitting up there in the barn. You, you know, the grass is really high right now, but that's way above my head. That's like, you know, eight, eight and a half feet up, something like that. All right, I'm gonna head up there to give you a little point of view. So, okay. I'm sitting right here, looking out the window. Again, this was at night, probably around midnight. I keep hearing rustling around over in this area. And I'm really paying attention to that, you know, I didn't, could have been a deer or something, I don't know. But, I think I hear something behind me, like the wood creaking a little bit. So, I'm sitting here, I turn around, look out that window, which is the window I was showing you a minute ago from the ground. And there was a head, right there, looking at me. A big, hairy head. And that really freaked me out. So, I, I looked at it for a second. Then it kind of went down. And I got up after, you know, a few seconds of collecting myself. I got up. And I walked over here to see if I could see anything running off. And there was totally nothing there. It was already gone. Don't know what direction it went, probably back there where the woods get like really thick. And yeah, that was freaky. Yeah. <laughs>